Hello, dear friends. This one is I'm trying to answer questions of uh, of friends regarding the brushes. So I try to make it quick and uh, not wasting too much of your time. So this one is a Chinese painting mountain brush. How is this one used? For example, you glue two pieces of paper. Let me find a glue. So you glue two pieces of paper, and uh, that's a Chinese painting paper here. And uh, for example, you put water and uh, and Chinese painting glue everywhere. Put it back, and to smoothen it. This is the use of this brush. So. It is not so solid as our magic stick or, or something because this one, the crease is too, the, the, you are putting too much. It is flat, but there is almost no room. This one has the strength, it's very, very hard. Has the strength, but not too strong. And it is a combination of strength and flexibility. So that's the use of it. If you use it for cleaning the eraser, for cleaning the eraser. So let's just have a try here. We have, then we use an eraser. Clean it off. No matter you are construction uh, uh, architect or if you use this one, first it's too big, and also this one it has a lot of dust inside. It's not so good. So I think the best way what I use, you use a stronger Bristol, this kind of brush. A stronger brush like this for example like this use a, a stronger nylon brush it works the best and it is silky and not too soft not strong but still it does not hurt the pa paper this kind of brush it's a little bit too it's um, it's um, ham it's a kind of ma, palm tree leaf, the fiber of, of tree and dried up. So it's not so smooth, much less smooth than this. So if you use it to clean up the eraser, I do not recommend this kind of brush. It's a good tool, not in the right use. Do not use this. This one is for mounting Chinese brush. Chinese painting, mountain. Right. And uh, the, this friend also, you also asked me about a brush for, for making eye line. So I have some other painting brush. This one is quite a, a good quality uh, watercolor brush. It's quite a good quality watercolor brush. So it does not have very thin line because I do not know it. It just never gets thin enough as as we want it. See the line. It does not have a very very sharp line. the The line is quite. Um, what do we call it? It's quite. Uh, mm, Round it up, but if you use a Chinese painting brush, let me find this. I have several kind of uh, this brush. You can use this kind, you can use this kind, or this kind. Any of these will work very well. Any of these, because it's uh, it's real animal hair with with. Uh, here going thinner and thinner so if you press very light it has a very very sharp line see
see how sharp it is. This paper does not even show up. We go even. It can be very, very, very thin. And if you press, it can be very, very wide. Oh, it's out of the fo focus already. Let me try it again. So you press. This one is a little bit too long. This one is mostly for outlining. And it just have a very steady, long outline. And uh, this one, can get uh, thin and when you press white line. This one is not only good for calligraphy, uh, good for outlining, but also good for Papa Rosa, you shot it. I just want 15 bucks from Leo. So you see, it can get thin line, and if you press, it has very wide line. So if you use this for painting, um, Ye Jin. This one, the official name is Ye Jin, is leaf wine, the wine of leaf. Right. So you have the leaf, the wine of the leaf. Oh, sorry, didn't see. Okay, I do it again. Here you have the leaf. Okay, that's it. So this is uh, so if you want to buy uh, if you want to have a, a Chinese painting brush for making line, buy any of these outline brush four dollar five dollar or this kind of uh, prettier looking outline brush white outline brush and another one. Mm -hmm. This is outline brush, outline brush, outline brush, brown hair, outline brush. And this, this one, a brown hair, outline brush. Look how elegant this brush is. Okay, thank you very much. Any of these will work. Bye-bye, friends.